we're back today with a very special little video. So as you guys know, or should know, Glossier is starting to ship. Oh, okay. Wait. There we go. Glossier is starting to ship. It's going to start shipping to the UK at least. I'm going to be doing a full face of Glossier makeup to test it out. And so you guys know when they start shipping, what is worth getting and what isn't. So let's go right ahead. First of all, it came in this little beautiful white box. It's like velvety. Most of the products came inside this little um, bubble wrap bag. It's really good for traveling and stuff like that. And it's just really cute anyway. I love that the models on the Glossier uh, website and things are always, they have like the clearest and glowiest of skins. And that is not me. So the first thing I'm gonna use from them is their Perfecting Skin Tint. And this is the shade Light. I don't remember them having a lot of shades, but this is the lightest shade anyway. Uh, through the packaging, it does seem quite, not, not super fair. So if you have super fair skin, you're probably not gonna get along with this. I don't know, I'm gonna shake it before using, but I think this is gonna be a little bit darker for me, but it, it seems like a neutral shade, so. Nothing I haven't done before. I love the packaging. It's just so, so cute. Let's drop. Remember that my hands are really tan right now. So I'm going to drop a few drops. I'm going to drop a few drops. So it's a little bit lighter than my hand, which is good. It is quite fluid. Okay. This is lighter than I thought it was going to be. Oh, I like this color. It looks good on me, I think. But yeah, this has like almost no coverage. It's, it's really a skin tint. So it's not even like a BB cream type of formulation. It has, it does have a, a very glowing finish. It's definitely not for like acne prone skin types. If you have no blemishes whatsoever, this might be a good thing. I'm gonna try to build it up a little bit, but I doubt that we'll get anywhere that I'd be comfortable with. <laughs> Yeah, so this doesn't like, it doesn't build up on top of each other. I love the color. I think it's a really, really nice finish. So if you have almost no skin problems, this is a really good product to kind of try. Honestly, if I had clear skin, this would definitely be my type of coverage. I prefer this type of coverage over something heavier any day. My skin, my acne does not agree. So now we're gonna go into the concealer, and this is called the Stretch Concealer. I'm gonna be using this for both under eyes and on top of pimples, and we'll see what happens. This is what it looks like. And the color is again the lightest shade called Light Slash Clear 10. And a little bit darker than the skin tint. So this is how it looks on my hand. And it kind of melts into my hand shade a lot more than the other. I think I'm gonna love this as an under eye concealer because it's very creamy and hydrating. It feels super hydrating. Wait, something weird is happening. It's like the concealer is not fusing into the skin tint. I don't know if you can see here, there's like a barrier where here it's more hydrated so it won't grab onto the skin here because it didn't have the skin tint as much it was a little drier and it grabbed onto skin but here it just won't grab on okay let's just try this a little bit on top of pimples although by now actually i'm gonna just straight up dip my beauty blender there and go on top it's not too dark it is a little bit darker than the skin tint but nothing like too shocking and here it's not looking as weird as my under eyes we're never going to be able to go full coverage i think but this does not look bad as like a pimple concealer i wish it was just a little bit lighter i don't know why brands go for like sometimes lighter foundation than concealers because it should be either the same or the other way around you know okay right about now loving the glow Love the glow, but of course this isn't a high coverage type of base, but I think it's about as much as we'll be able. It's like 
a medium coverage, I'd say. So I think we should go straight to the powder right now. And the powder is called Wowder Weightless Finishing Powder. And it's not translucent, it has shades as well. Mine again is the lightest shade. It's called Light to Medium, which I'm scared about. It looks hella dark. Why? This is what it looks like. So it's one of these powders that has like a sifter and the sifter is kind of like soft. The powder itself feels very like blurring as well. It feels very like silicone-y, not in a bad way, like a blurring powder. Definitely darker. It almost could work for me like a bronzer. So it's not too noticeable, it doesn't look bad, but I definitely have to work it down my neck. As to the finish, it is a pretty flawless, it's not too matte, so it still allows the glow to flow through. Nothing is cakey or anything. For oily skin types, this kind of three-step combination will not be your thing, this will not hold your oil. For dehydrated combination skin types like mine, this will not be a whole day solution ever. But if you need makeup for just a few hours, I think this looks really lovely. I should have waited because both my highlighter and blush are cream. But it's not too much of a like setting powder. It's still a little bit glowy, still a little bit dewy, still a little bit transferable. So I think we'll be fine. So they don't have anything for eyes per se. Don't, don't even have mascara. So the only thing I got for the brows is their brow gel. And it's called Brow Boy. Super cool. This is the shade brown. So I think they have like three shades. This is the middle shade, I think. And it's a little darker than I am, but I feel like the lightest shade, if I remember correctly, was too light. So this should be fine. I really love the small spoolie. More precise and foolproof. So in comparison to the Anastasia Beverly Hills, which is my all-time favorite, this is a little bit more dense and more detailed. So it fills out and, and makes them bolder. But at the same time, I feel like the Anastasia Beverly Hills makes them a little lighter in tone, unless you really go ham. But it makes them a little bit fluffier, whereas this, they are a little bit more dense. I'm just going to use my uh, L'Oreal Baby Doll Mascara. And okay, so now we'll be heading to my blush and I got one of the cloud paints. They have beautiful colors. The one I chose, I wanted them all, but the one I chose was Beam, which is this orangey, pastel orangey baby. Oh my God, look how cute. I'm so bummed that I have a pimple right there. I look like a glowy goddess. I'm so sad this is not something I can rock on the daily. And then we're gonna go into highlighter and I got their Heloscope Dew, if Dew Effect Highlighter. As if I'm not doing enough. Quartz, which I think is, I don't know if this is a lighter shade, but it's the most like neutral shade. It has like a balmy type of circle in the, in the middle and then it's just pure highlighter. So that's why it's so dewy. So it's a very subtle type of highlighter that I love. Oh my God, I'm loving this. Okay, so I'm gonna just dab a little bit more into the concealer, because now that I've powdered, I feel like the concealer will have a more staying power. Just in this, yeah, see? It's almost full coverage. If you powder a little, not too much, but if you powder it a little and then go over your blemishes, the concealer just grabs on a little more. And finally, we have two kind of lip products. So I obviously got the bomb.com because just, just had to. As you know, they have a lot of flavors. I love the packaging on all of this. So it's a universal balm, but it, it can be used as a lip balm. And this is the coconut flavor. It's so thick. Smells amazing. It melts right down into your lips. I'm just gonna take that off a little bit. And I also got the Generation Sheer Matte Lipstick. This is the shade Cake. Because I know myself, I'm gonna powder just a little bit more on my T-zone, because otherwise this is gonna be oily town by six hours, but I'm just gonna powder a little bit more in the problematic usual problematic areas. So 
this is definitely a very natural and very like quick and easy approach to makeup which I love and I'm all about. I wish I had enough of a clear skin to rock this on the daily. I don't think I do as of yet. Hopefully soon. Really, really like the products. The only kind of issues I have is that the powder is a little bit too dark. So if it's dark for me, it's probably gonna be too dark if you're fairer than me or if you're as fair as me when I don't have these hands. Also, the skin tint has no buildability whatsoever. So it's more like an all over tint if you already have perfect skin. The concealer kind of looks good right now. So if you want to build up the concealer, I definitely recommend that you powder it a little bit and then just put the concealer on top. Coming closer, this is kind of the finish we're looking at. Very glowy, very dewy, even though I powder it twice. If I had to pick like a finish for always, this would be it. This would never be a finish that I could rock all day because it's gonna get oily. Here are under eyes. They're not like perfect. Uh, we'll come back in about six hours from now so you can see kind of the down low on how this progresses throughout the day. This is not as oily as I thought it was going to be. It's still a little bit on the oily side as you can see here in the nose and stuff. But it's not like extremely oily and with the finish that we've first begun I, I really thought it was going to be that oily. It's a little cakey but it's like a broken down because of oil cakey. Obviously this enhances my skin texture, but honestly I've been embracing it, so I don't, I don't really care. I mean, you can see a little bit of texture, but it's actually like a glowing, healthy texture, so I don't really mind. There's a little bit of creasing, and also crow's feet. I mean, I don't have many, but you can see a little bit of wear here. The brow gel behaves perfectly fine. It's not stiff at all. It's actually very fluffy and like manageable. So there's no like harshness here when you move your eyebrows. All in all, this was a good experience. I always wanted to try the brand and I'm very, very excited that I did. There are a few things that I personally would not recommend if you have my skin type and that is uh, mostly the skin tint. Um, I would also not recommend the concealer. Not that I didn't like it, just that I, I find that there's so much better. For under eye, it wasn't hydrating enough for me, and for the pimples, it was too hydrating, so it slid off quite easily, and I'd like something more dry uh, for my pimples. So it's kind of like a gray area. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope that I somehow shed some light in what you wanted and were interested in buying, and helped you somehow with your purchases. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more, and don't forget to click the little bell button so you know every single time I upload. That's pretty much it. I will see you in the next one.